The 21st and final stage of the Tour de France 2022. 115 kilometers between La Défense Arena and the Champs-Élysées. A procession, a sprint and a chance to reflect on what has been a spectacular 109th edition. This is Jonas Vengegaard. Bike change for Jonas Vengegaard. I think we, especially with Jonas, we keep uh, everything good for GC, not, not too much damage. Then it was just uh, going with the flow. An attack then of the white jersey on the wheel of Jasper Stuyven. It was uh, really, really difficult, especially in the end, the last part. When uh, Jonas attacked, he was so strong. But uh, yeah, I, say, I said, yeah, my, my boys were working all day. I had to, to push to the finish line. Attack of Jonas Vengegaard going for glory, going for yellow. He opens up a gap. Micah looks around and says to Tade, do you have enough? And Pogaccia can't quite hold the wheel of Rafael Micah. Vengegaard with an assault on yellow. Stage 11 of the Tour de France of 2022 will be remembered for generations. It has been a blockbuster. It has been a race of incredible proportions. But the man with the courage, the man with the aim of the yellow jersey takes the stage. What a win. Jonas Vengegaard blitzes the tour and takes yellow tonight. Répète, je répète pour l'arrière, des grands avions dans la descente. Soyez tous très prudents. Oh, oh Yellow jersey almost crashes. And this is what he was trying to do. He was trying to put the yellow jersey under pressure. Pogaccia overcooks. Oh, oh he comes down. crash of the white jersey. Well, oh, look at that. That is a show of true sportsmanship. Yeah, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm emotional. I mean, uh, winning this Tour de France as a, as a team is uh, it's really special. And uh, also the day was, uh, was like a dream scenario. Having my two goals on, on the finish line means e even more to me. Le peloton du Tour de France entre à l'instant dans le palais du Louvre.
As ever, the intensity ramped up a notch once they hit Paris. Several riders tried their luck, but the fast men haven't had many chances this year and their teams were determined to make it a bunch sprint. One lap of racing to go on the Champs-Élysées in the Tour de France of 2022. The sprinters are all there. Here we go now with Luca Met gets on the front, getting set with in his wheel Dylan Groenewegen. Caleb Ewan just gets ready. Met gets now starts to really up the tempo. It's not far from the finish line now. Met gets looks around for Dylan Groenewegen, looks for the sprint to start to happen. Pedersen is there, Philipson is there. Here goes Dylan Groenewegen, he's hit the front very, very early. Philipson dives, Ewan is bumping, almost crashes on that side. Somehow it's the wheel, and it's going to be Jasper Philipson and Groenewegen. Christoph sneaks through in the middle. Jasper Philipson wins on the Sean Elysees, second stage win in the Tour. What does it mean to win the stage for sprinters on the Champs Elysees? I can't believe uh, it's a childhood dream coming true, and uh, yeah, this will take a more, uh, yeah, this will take a while to uh, realize. And I'm uh, just super proud of the team and that we could uh, yeah, finish a tour like this. It's a cherry on the cake. Jasper Philipson joins the inner circle of sprinters to have won on the Champs-Élysées, powering to the line ahead of the 27 winner here, Dylan Krunewagen, and the 2018 winner, Alexander Kristoff. And are you ready? Are you ready, Tivoli? From Denmark, last year's runner-up, Jonas Wingego. Am I right if I'm saying that you are a bit touched emotionally right now. Yes, I could tell. Who takes the final decision of you two guys? Being a god. Being a god, okay. <laughs> Vingegaard celebrates his first Tour de France victory ahead of two former winners, Pogacar and Thomas. David Godu takes fourth place for France ahead of Alexander Vlasov. Wout van Aert didn't sprint today, but he dominated the green jersey competition from start to finish. The Belgian was also named the race's most aggressive rider after lighting things up from Copenhagen to Paris. Vingegaard's stage wins on the Col du Granon and Utacan helped him to conquer the mountains classification ahead of Simon Geschke and Giulio Ciccone. Pagaccia finishes as the best young rider for the third successive year, almost an hour clear of the impressive Tom Pidcock. Pidcock's Ineos Grenadiers win the team's classification for the second time after 2017 ahead of Groupama FDJ. Jumbo Visma, meanwhile, celebrate their very first Tour de France win. It has been a remarkable show over the past three weeks. Thank you very much for joining us. We're set for plenty more fireworks in the coming years.